so today I'm going to talk about the Pixel 8 Pro. I've been a Pixel user for a while now. Um, I've been using the... I started with the Pixel 4a, I think. Before that I used Nexus. Um, this one is not working anymore. But uh, two years, three years ago, I think 2021, uh, I started using the Pixel 6, this one here, then upgraded to the Pixel 6 Pro. Um, it was a great phone. Um, I can't complain much. Uh, the Pixel 7 Pro came out, but it wasn't that interesting anyway. So I decided to wait for the Pixel 8 Pro, which is this one. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between the two of them. And if you, I think you should upgrade or not. So the main difference when it comes to the design, you still have a pixel visor. Uh, the pixel visor on the 8 Pro is bigger than the one on the 6 Pro. The 6 Pro is all black, what we love pixel for in the beginning. But now um, they've put some glass inside and now it's totally blend in. It's blending in the frame. But on here, you had some separation. Uh, I mean, I've used it a lot, so you can see some color, but you had some separation between the frame and the visor. Uh, but now it's just blending with it, and then you have the camera inside. You can also see that uh, the Pixel 6 Pro used to be glossy. The 8 Pro has a matte finish. It's kind of matte. I don't know what it is. I think it's matte. But it's glass as well. But it's very, very, very nice um, to the touch. Like feeling it is so nice. I hated the fact that this was glass back and it was very slippery. But this one is so nice to touch. Um, you can also see that there was a camera sensor upgrade. The three of them have been upgraded, I think, um, because you can see the sensors on the 8 Pro are much bigger than the one on the 6 Pro, even though the 6 Pro had bigger sen big sensors at the time, uh, the 8 Pro has even bigger sensors. Um, then here you have the thermometer or temperature sensor, I think. Now on the front, where you have, I think, the biggest change is the front. So on the front here, you have a curved screen for the Pixel 6 Pro. I really like the curved screen. Uh, on the 8 Pro, you have flat screen, I guess because people have been complaining. Personally, I don't care, really. Um, the, the, the curved screen does look very nice. And when you're in apps, for example, and you want to go back uh, using the curve screen is very nice to go on the curve to go back like the feeling is better but you will just get used to it on the normal flat screen as well but personally i prefer going over the curve screen it, it just feels nicer and it makes the phone look almost bezel-less and um, good looking but other than that for the software if you've been a Pixel user for a while now, you won't feel any difference. Both of them are running the latest Android 14 feature drop uh, of December. So they're both smooth. Uh, I don't see any difference really. Uh, everything is just the same. Uh, opening apps is the same. Like let me open camera, for example, to show you. So they open at the same time. You also have the same features in the camera, so it's long exposure, action pan, it's the same portrait, all of them are the same. However, when you do take some photos, you can notice differences sometimes. It's still pixel in a way, pixel are good, whether old or new, they're all good at photos. And unless you're looking for a particular change, um, you won't see it really. The 8 Pro has some new AI features that they're saying, but I think most of those AI features will come to the 6 Pro and every other phone. So when I got the 6 Pro, it did have Magic Eraser, which was exclusive to Pixel 6 Pro users, but then it became available to every Google One users. So yeah, 
I personally don't feel like there's any difference. It's just the same, really. Everything is the same on both phones. And um, to be honest, I don't feel like I should upgrade. So this one is going to my partner. She's also a Pixel 6 user. Uh, she's been using it since uh, it came out as well. And um, I think she may like it. Uh, one thing I wanted to check was how fast the new fingerprint sensor is, but they just unlock the same, like I, I don't feel any difference. Okay, now I have to push a bit more, yeah. So, as you can see, yeah, the, the difference is really minimum. Let me try again. Yeah, so on the Pixel 6 Pro or uh, Pixel 6, you need to push your hand, uh, your thumb a bit more uh, so that it can read most of your thumb. On the 8 Pro, you don't need to do that. And there's also a face unlock on the 8 Pro, which we don't have on the 6 Pro. Um, well, it's a very good bonus, but I'm used to using the fingerprint anyway, so I'm fine with that. Another thing before I leave, uh, you have a thermometer on the Pixel 8 Pro using the thermometer sensor. So let me measure the temperature of the table, 21.6 degree. Not bad. I mean, if you had a drink, you could measure the temperature of your drink. But it's not really useful. It could have been useful if you could measure objects very far away or if you could measure people as well. But I don't know. It's not that useful to me anyway. So to sum up, the Pixel 8 Pro is great. Um, I personally prefer the screen of the Pixel 6 Pro. The Pixel 8 Pro does look a bit brighter sometimes, but yeah, I prefer the visor and everything about the 6 Pro. Just that the touch feeling, the matte touch is more interesting on the 8 Pro. So, yeah, I'm not upgrading. This will be my partner's phone. She will be upgrading to the 8 Pro. For the first time in a while, I can say I'm totally fine using the 6 Pro. Um, this is the first time that I've used one phone for two years in a row without wanting to upgrade and um, yes i don't think i will be upgrading anytime soon because well it does everything i need and for an average user you shouldn't upgrade but if you're having some issues with your battery and stuff like that just good for go for the 8 pro it's a very nice phone it's a pixel i love pixels so yeah this is the end thank you for watching